Hey everybody, welcome back to Push the Core Gaming, the show where when speaking through anthropomorphism, it has a big dick. Mmm, <laughs> the best kind. That's always a good quality, believe me. For any... I mean, thing. I wouldn't be able to poop as easy if it was for big cocks, you know? Well, our guy's running pretty good now. Don't you hate that when it just, you know, you go to sit down and it swings underneath your butthole and you poop on it? Are you talking about a penis? Yeah. I was talking about how easy it is for me to poop now. <laughs> I have to watch out when I fart. If you jump out Turns the window, just slide out. out. Just jump over the, the gurn. You know what I'm saying? Our guy is walking really well now. Open yeah, that door. Yeah, he's like getting better. Ooh. The pain is just going away. You know, when you open that door, you can really see that hinge. You can really see the side. You can see like the fine quality. Of I feel the, like something's gonna happen. In fine this quality. You probably already know, don't you? Of door no, I don't. Of door. I didn't watch the whole. He's thing. really running. Well, you you can run again. Yeah. Well, that's good. Oh, he's the TV room. Maybe We're killing that to the dentist entrance. made him happy. You gave him a boost of it. Almost Vanishes. close. We're almost close. That's mm. for sure. That damn Dennis. He's a Dennis. Oh, shit. I wonder if Dennis was a dentist. Dennis the dentist. He was definitely right a menace. There. I mean, that's a for sure. What's wrong with that room? That is, is barred shut with one of those door Here we go, locks. Guys. Ready? Metal plates. Yeah, let's start it. What was the most amazing physical feat you've managed to pull off? Um, I think for me... There was one day in my life where I managed to masturbate five times successful, successfully. I ran a half marathon. Dang. Um, mine Personally, I think it's being able to do windmills. <laughs> you um, try masturbating five times a day. So far. I hope I can do flares before I die. Is your windmills? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, it took a year to learn. You know, when I really actually, though, if I was to try to think of this question seriously, mm -hmm. I, I think I kind of have to stick with masturbating five times in a day. <laughs> I mean, that isn't easy. No. Unless you're, like, a super, super, super high testosterone, dude. And you really have to make sure you use lotion. Wow, we're it. I mean, it's. I guess it's really not even that hard, though. I mean, I've easily done it, like, three times in a day. Oh, well, yeah. yeah. Oh, my God. Not even. Jeremy Blair, my supervisor, supervisor, a man who would seed me skin sal salted and raped for a promotion and a few martinis, injured, dying if he's not already dead. I'm trying to feel sorry for him. Really, I am. <laughs> but there's no way in hell he's stopping me from getting out of this godforsaken place. I'm coming home, Lisa. Whoa! What a dick. <gasps> he got a knife! Damn, what an asshat. Jumps up and stab. Jerk. What a dick hell. Who is this guy? The oh, wall no. he got Saved ridden by up the on the old wall. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? He must be listening to us oh, talk. Oh, he, he just, just exploded. Imploded. Ah. Exploded. <laughs> that was awesome. That was an oxymoron. He imploded, exploded. He implode, exploded. Imploded. Get up, buddy. Get up and run. I like the implosion. I'm pretty sure this is the end. You just run out to the vehicle and get away. Or crawl you out. You steal the other guy's vehicle, the guy mm -hmm. who you played in the first chapter. Really? Yeah. Really? No way. Huh. And How? Yep. What, this at the run. same time? Uh, limp away. Get Look there. around the corner. Get there. Uh. You sure? There's I a love. lot of space for you to be shot out here. I love this dramatic music. It's fantastic. I know. It's like, are you going right, to Chad? Mm -mm. Fantastic. I don't say that word anymore. Fantastic. Oh, there's our oh, vehicle, amazing. too. No I way. I want to hear you, you start saying You don't say the word fantastic anymore, Chad? Amazing. I don't say fantastic. You don't say it? No. No, he got tired of hearing wow. himself say it. Oh. Get the... F yep. Steal that guy's car. Uh-oh. I have this feeling that this is not the end. You ain't going to live. That seems too oh, amazing. nice. Is there a dude coming? There is. It's a wall rider, dude. Oh, what is it? Yeah, it's a wall rider. I'm thinking he don't is. want you to leave. Ooh, better get out of there. Uh oh, here it comes. Here comes the 
Shadow Wind. So what, no one's allowed to get out here alive? <laughs> Bust through the gate. Bust the move. <laughs> Bust it. Mm -mm. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Mr. Park. We're paying attention. Wow. We are paying attention to the story right now. It's very intriguing. He's, he's warning us. There's a big bridge. It's very long. Like, in Justice League. Do you get to choose? We love fucking the people we love. Is hurting Merkel worth that much to you? He's yeah, he's a jerk for face. Do you get to choose? Do you get to choose? Difficult decisions. Difficult decisions. <laughs> do it. I don't but you can't not press X, right? No, you can't. You just... oh, so do it. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Couldn't he have just done it under an anonymous? Whistleblower! Name or Complete a whistleblower, yo. Yeah, nice. if he didn't do it, he wouldn't be a whistleblower. So. Wow, we actually got a good ending. I Jeez. know. We I mean, win. his whole family and everybody he yeah. loves are probably all gets fucked, killed. But... Yeah. We win, though. <laughs> yeah, all right. The sacrifice of a good journalist. Right, right, right. That's what it's really all about. It's the sacrifices. Poor, poor Heroes Miles. Heroes make up, sacrifices. Sir. Pro Miles. Poor Miles up, sir. That poor old Jimmy Jam, you know? He... Was that our first guy or the second guy? Miles Upster was the first guy. Who is the second guy? His name was... I don't remember. Dickless McGee. That's a weird name. They just said you're still alive. What was his name? <laughs> Martin. Martin? No, I don't remember his name. Martin. Yeah. In Chris, any case... Chris Walker. Well, oh, here we go. <gasps> Marito Trader? Jones? No. Wernick? No. Steve? No. Eddie Gluskin? Ma Are Eddie? you Eddie? No. no. Eddie was the guy who was trying to make us into his wife. <laughs> well, your what? eye doesn't talk, no? so why would there be a voice actor? Maybe it was Chris wasn't Walker. That I think it was Chris Walker, wasn't it? No, you. that was a big dude. Yeah, but Miles Upser didn't really talk either. Right, why did he have a voice talent name? <laughs> That's dumb. They gotta give everybody their credit, man. You know what I mean? Even Pascalin Charbonneau. Well, that was solid. That was good. I really mm. liked... The I liked Whistleblower better than the original game. Yeah. I, I was, thought it was, uh, actually, I, I mean, a lot of the original game we probably didn't pay attention to, but. <laughs> I just felt like uh, Whistleblower, you know, was more exciting. But and it had a good ending. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love good endings. Yeah. Unlike the movie Life. See, it doesn't have to be. Have you seen the movie Life? Mm -mm. Dustin was telling me about oh that. Oh, my yesterday. God. Oh, it's it's yeah. got Jake Gyllenhaal, Ryan Reynolds in it, and oh, my God. Is pretty bad. That's why you like never heard anything about that movie after it came out because it was so freaking bad. Mm. What do you think it's rated on internet movie? Oh, database? it's dude, it's gruesome. It's sick. They have some really sick ways that they kill. Like Ryan Reynolds. This uh, I'm just gonna spoil it for you right now. You've seen the preview, right? Where the the dude puts his hands in in the this containment thing. They find life on Mars. And it attaches to his hand and it like mutilates his hand, like breaks it completely. Spoiler. Pulls his hand out, he passes out. While the thing escapes from the containment that it's in, Ryan Reynolds goes in the room to save the dude. He pulls the guy out, but then he has to shut the door real quick because the thing like latches to his leg and they don't want it to escape. So the thing, um, he's chasing around trying to shoot it with this torch, right? Well, he shoots it and it doesn't die. It thinks things like invincible, okay? Well, what it does is it goes into his mouth, <laughs> and it's pretty sick. Like, like he starts bleeding out the eyes, and it's pretty. It's a pretty messed up scene. Like almost every killing it says scene. This is a in horror sci-fi thriller. It is. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh. And I, I, I'm gonna spoil it right now because the movie's so bad. You was it you bad? shouldn't see it. You shouldn't don't don't watch it. It's talking about how bad it is makes it, me kind of no. want to watch it. Every single person in the movie dies. It's got okay. a six point seven. It's bad. That's actually good for a horror flick. Yeah. Everybody dies and the the bad guy wins. The alien. Okay, so the whole movie is basically about them trying to make sure the alien doesn't get to Earth. Fuck alien. Throughout the movie, everybody dies these fucked up, messed up deaths. Okay, where it like um. It, 
it breaks the coolant in this woman's tank while she's in a spacesuit and then you see her drowned and there's lots of screaming another woman <laughs> she gets she goes into space shuttle in the end and so does um uh, jake gyllenhaal he has an alien with him and he's he tries to shoot himself out into space to make sure it goes off with him well she gets in the shuttle and goes tries to go to earth so they show both shuttles go one goes to earth one goes out in space guess what happened Jake up. Gyllenhaal's Hall's one was the one that went to Earth. She goes spiraling out into space. <laughs> they show her screaming and screaming, and then they cut off of that. Well, he goes down. The the aliens in this tank with in the the compartment with him. Well, it like puts all this stuff around him and and glues him to the wall. And at the end of the movie, very end, they show all these like uh, boats coming to help him out. And he's like screaming out the window, "No, no, don't open it! Don't open it!" They open it up. And that's the end of the movie. You can't hear. They can't hear you scream in space. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, wait what does he it was look in like? Space. It just looks like a muscle. Okay, so they say this thing. All, every component of its body is everything. It's it's it, it's its eyes, its muscle, its brain. So like, and it it's it's interesting in that well, way. How did it stay alive on Mars? Okay, when they get it, it's like, it's a single cell organism. Huh. As they keep it, it, it grows evolves. and grows and grows. It evolves instantaneously. Like, well, it, it, it evolves very quickly, okay? And it gets bigger and bigger. And by the end of the movie, it's probably about the size of a person's torso, okay? Huh. And it, yeah, it's, it's... All right, all right. Well, with Dustin <laughs> spoiling a whole movie for you guys that just came out... <laughs> Um, <laughs> we're don't gonna watch it. I, we're going to conclude this episode. <laughs> Dustin says it sucks, so don't watch it if you uh, like uh, agree with any of the comments or statements he makes on this show. Because it's just my opinion, you're, but you're kind of in the same boat with him. Um, so <laughs> please like and subscribe, and don't forget to answer the question: What is the most? What was the most amazing physical feat you've ever managed to pull off? And if you've got like maybe like a masturbated six times and you're a dude, you beat me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right so like and subscribe come back for our next episode um hope you guys don't mind this one's a little shorter than usual but um we will catch you on our next game which we're gonna discuss as to what that is here uh off camera yeah sweet so peace in the middle Later. east <laughs>